Hello, so today video is the first video that I'm going to use the Kotlin as the main language to implement the app. And we're going to implement the Facebook audience networks, which we can use is for monetization to earn the money. And the main ads type that we're going to implement are the banner and interstitial ads. Also, we will apply the base practice and the small tips to handle with the hatred people that they always do attempt clicks ads on the app. Okay, here we can see the preview at the bottom is the banner ads for testing. And then for this button, when we click on it, it's gonna show the other activity. But before that, we're gonna show the full screen ads, which we call interstitial ads. And this is the final results that we're going to do. So without further ado, let's get started. At first, we're gonna create a project and we're going to name the project. And then the language that we're going to choose is the Kotlin. And here it's gonna take some time to create a project. And now before we implement the audience network, we have to add the dependencies. So let's go ahead to open the Gradle file. Here we're going to place these dependencies and we're going to start seeing the project. Now after we pulling the dependencies, we're gonna add very simple design layout for display the ads. So I'm going to change this to relative layout. Okay. If we talk about the Google Ads Mob, they have their own app view layout and we just call that insert into the layout. But for Facebook ads, we're gonna use any layout. For example, in here, we're going to use the linear layout to wrap the ads asset instead of the app view. So last, we don't forget place the ID to identify the view. As we see here, the blue highlight line is at the bottom. And because of this linear layout, doesn't have any content inside it. And now for maintainable code, we're gonna create a new class to maintain the ad. So let's call this FV Ad Manager. Okay. When we initiate the instance, we need the context. To do that, we're gonna pass that value with the constructor. Then we're gonna call init blocks to initiate the audience network SDK. Okay, this init blocks will call when we instance the object just like we call the constructor. For the first ads that we're going to implement is the banner ads. So let's create a new function. I'm going to call this a show banner. First parameter is the layout that we're going to display the ad inside it. And for in our case is the linear layout. And then uh, for the scan parameter that we require is the string which is for placing the ad ID. And for the last one, we're going to add ad size, the size of the ad, so that we can set to the various size via this parameter. Also, we can set this to the default value, means we can only pass the two parameters for the last parameter is optional by default. This is a very good feature for Kotlin that we can define the default parameter in a method. If in Java, we have to create another method and set the default parameter, which is we're going to overloading uh, methods. Okay, so now let's define a variable to store the app view instance. We're gonna pass the context, add ID, add size, and then we're gonna add the app view into the layout. And after that, we're gonna define a listener to trace the events. And inside this method, we will implement the listener. To do that, we're gonna call the object and inherit it from the add listener class. And because of this listener class is the abstract class, so we have to implement the functions. And we're gonna select all of this. And here we have the four overrided functions. And the first function is called when the error occur. So we're gonna print out this message. I'm going to toss the message. Let's say it banner. 
and we're gonna use the string templates to fit the expression. And we see here the P1 has a question mark, which is means the value can be null. That's why we can say P1 with a question mark and dot the function error message. If we do that so, when the P1 is null, it will produce an error. And then in this function, on add loaded, is called when the ads is ready to load it. So we're gonna toss the message when load. About on add click function is handled when the user have to click on the ad. For the last method, we will call when it's displayed to the user, which is very similar to the on add loaded. And I'm not going to print out the message. And don't forget to comment this line code. If not, it's gonna throw an exception not implemented. And now we have implemented the listener and we store in the config name. After that, we have to call the build function to return as add load config. Because when we call the add loads method, we gonna require to pass it as the parameter. Okay, so we now already implement the show banner ads function. The next we gonna go to the main activity and activate the ad. And this main activity class is the back end for the layout, which just means we can control the view and we can control this linear layout that we have the ID and we're gonna use this layout for embedded the ad. So now we're gonna instance the FV ad manager. And here we're going to start call that method show banner. A first parameter we're gonna call the linear layout by the ID reference. And then the add ID. And this ID we're gonna use the same poll ID for testing. And the last is the optional parameter. If we not set it, it's gonna use the default parameter, which is the banner high 50, the small banner one. Okay. Now we're going to test the application. I'm going to use the mirror app with my Galaxy S6 Edge. Okay, right now we have an error. Here we can see this kind of an error like this. We have to uh, enable the Jetifier. So to do that, we're going to open the Gradle properties, which is located in here. And then we're going to scroll down here to here. We're gonna insert Android. Enable Jetifier with it to true. Okay, we start seeing the project once again. And now we're going to run the application again. Okay, now the app is loaded and our banner is displayed. As we can see, the toast message is spread out. Okay, and if we click on the banner, it's going to show the toast message click. Okay, now we're going to test the connection is not available. Let's start disconnect from the Wi-Fi. And we're going to relaunch the app again. As we can see, the error is about the network connection. Okay, we just call from the error function here. Okay, now we have implemented about banner ads completely. So we can use it any activity easily with the maintainable code. And for the next, we will implement the interstitial ads on this project again with some trick load between another activity before display the real activity. Okay, finally, if you love my video, please stay tuned, subscribe, like, and share this video. And I will see you in the next video.